some glad morning. When this life is o'er, I'll fly away, fly away, fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away, fly away, fly away. Fly away. Shadows of this life have grown. I'll fly away, fly away, fly away, like a bird from prison bars is flown. I'll fly away, fly away. See me? They're signed. Picture this <laughs> Hello, how are you? Well, in the airport headed to Houston, um, there was a little boy. He was sitting in the luggage area waiting really just to uh, board the plane. There was a little kid kind of playing around in the luggage area. Parents were not really attending to the kid. He was stepping on the minister's shoes and everything, right? And the minister sat there and had to really pray to himself and get himself in check about what was going on there because Amen. he was struggling with this kid, right? And he's getting frustrated. And so he kept thinking to himself, he said, man, I hope that kid isn't close by me on the plane, right? And so soon enough, they get ready to get on the plane and this kid, again, is getting, is end up sitting by him and his kid is crying and he's kicking and he's walking up and down the aisles. He's walking up and down the aisles. And then finally, someone just standing there, one of the uh, flight attendants, went over to the kid and she said, would you like to go see the captain? And so the kid looked up at him and the kid said, yes. So he started crying to the mom, I want to go see the captain. I want to go see the captain. And so then finally, the mom said, will the captain see him? And she said, absolutely. And so this minister's observing this and he didn't really care. He was just like, take him anywhere, just get him away from me. <laughs> And so he was bothered by this, but this little kid, so the stewardess grabbed the little kid by the hand and he took him into the captain. He knocked on the door and the captain opened the door and the kid came in and the door closed. And we really don't know what took place inside there, but when the kid came out, he had a little airplane and he had some wings. That little kid went back and sat down and he looked at those wings and he looked at that airplane and he was just as calm and smiling and Nothing was wrong with him. And so the minister turned around and looked at him. And the little kid and the mom told the minister, he said, he got an opportunity to see the captain. And I want to share something with you all. That captain, that story is just like Christ. Sometimes you see that person in life and they're aggravated and they're frustrated and they're running and stepping on people's feet left and right. And sometimes all they need to do is for some individual to go and reach out to them and take them to see the captain. That yeah. captain is Jesus Christ. Amen. Tell everybody what you say you do every morning before you get up. What do you do? And I, say, I wake up to pray. And what's your prayer? What do you pray for? I pray for God to help me during the day, guide me, protect me. Yes. And so on. Yes. And then I go pray. Yes. Then I go eat, 
Yes. So on. And you said I, sometimes you get lonely, and what do you do then? I go by color. Yes. Uh, you said you go for a walk sometime too? Yes. Yeah. So that's good. You live close by, right? Yes. And what's, how old are you? I'm 13. 13. Yes. You've been great. I have enjoyed hanging out with you every yes. day. So it's been a pleasure. Get your glasses, too? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Same with the other eye. Go on this bike. Okay. Can you see these? You want to see my left? Yeah. You want to go bump? No, maybe I can make it up here, yeah, but if I have to give me an extra, no problem. Does this look good? Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Yes. That's very nice. Al. Yeah. <laughs> that seriously looks, looks very nice. Does, does that not look like it? It does. You look like school teacher. I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> well, are you going to put your shades on? Sin, but Jesus took me in and then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It bathed my heart in love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our pain and cry. Answer by and by. Feel a little prayerful yearning. As your heart in heaven is turning, you will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Sometimes my past seems dreary. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Joshua, my brother in Christ. Fine brother. He's going to do big things. You told me you got some things planned, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to reach out to Sugarland for you, okay? This is Amanda. This is my sweetheart. We met her when she was in high school. She and she uh, and really, they had gave me my first birthday coming out of the United States of America at the Cleveland World Church of Christ. Now she's a mother of this child. They're young, they're eager, they're still learning and living the life of a Christian. They live in a wholesome household. Thank so much of them, and we're excited when we get a chance to see them. We visit quite a bit on the farm, but we want to thank our elder brother Bobby Allen for being consistent in order to assist this young lady grow up and live the life of Christ and bring her son up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. My husband's not here, as all men, he's head of household, and he wants to work to take care of his family. So we're thankful to be here with my daughter and my daughter, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda, you want to say a few things? Yes, you can say it to Bobby. Alright, hi, Bobby. I'm Amanda. I know you've heard me on the phone, but you does not and I will see me in Thank you so much. How old are you, Herman? 
83. 83? How long have you been uh, serving the Lord? Well, I born in it. And you had a daughter, and she got baptized two I years ago, didn't you? She had what? She got baptized two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, our daughter got baptized, but she got baptized. Right, she did. I remember. Do you have anything else to add? Well, what do you think about this week? Well, I enjoyed the whole week. The whole, all the time I enjoy it, I come there. Before, look, you got to say before anybody. And then by the thing that they have to use for me. Very good. Thanks very much. I hope to see you next year at this time. If I do then. If, if you're not, the Lord is going to take care of you, is I agree with that. How's it been this week? Good. Good? Yeah. What did you like the most? Helping the children. Helping the children? Yes. You did great helping the children too. And then someone got baptized the other day that you knew. Is it your aunt? Yes. And then my cousin. Two of my cousins. Yes, and your cousin, right? Obey the gospel. You had the biggest smile on your face. Thank you. Wasn't that Kevin? Yes. And Radhika? Yes. Yes. And that's your aunt. Lisa. Lisa. And Lisa. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well say hi to Sugarland back home. We're going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're going to submerge you completely under the water. When you come up out of the water, you're going to be the new spirit, new babe of Christ. You'll be, God will add you to the church of Christ, and these will all be your brothers and sisters in Christ. All right, Lord? Go down. Just bend down for your knees. And we're going to completely submerge you. Matthew just got baptized. Add it to the body of Christ. How does it feel, Matthew? Feel good? Great deal. Now his brother is about to be baptized. Didn't I tell you when you do it, your brother's going to do it too? Right? Very good. God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. And how old are you? Seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah. And are Seven. you a student? Yes, I'm a student at the Bible School. And you're originally from Guyana? Yes, I am. Okay, tell us about yourself. <laughs> what about myself? <laughs> <laughs> what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? Oh. Do you like to read? Things That's, like that. Well, games, concerning game, I like to play football and cricket, which I'm already in a team, cricket team, and do enjoy it. Thirdly, I do enjoy going about to meeting new people, which I do normally on a basic thing when I'm home. As personal evangelism, I go out meeting people, invite them to church, have a little interest, be friendly with them. Then, oh gosh. <laughs> well, right now I'm not living with my mom, neither my father. My mom and my father separate from a very tender age. And I didn't even born it yet, because I don't know the reason why so they separate. <laughs> but, um, Today, God had me here and I'm happy and pleased to be here. And I think everything that happened to me in my past life, I happened to me for a reason because God had a plan for my life. Um, I never realized it, but as I grow older, I just get to know my goal. I get to know what God planned for me each day in my life. But as growing up at a very tender age, I started to work, working with people, I went through a very lot, but thank God all of it is past to me. And now I am happy in the Lord and I'm doing God's work. And I'm going to continue by God's grace and God's strength. He's going to show me the rest of the way. Yay! Excellent. We love you, Elizabeth. We do. I love you too. <laughs>
from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Sometimes we share together our exercise. Sometimes we dream together of how it will be when we all get to heaven. God's family. You're trying to make me cry. No. Tom Roll. How's it been this week? It's been great. It's been it's great. Been great. Shogalan has has done us proud. Shogalan has done us proud. Yes, brother. To my brother over in Shogalan Church, of course, thank you so much. Especially for this preacher that you sent for this week. It touched my heart and changed my whole life once more. I was a Christian, but I didn't know so far. And what he taught me for this week, he made me feel a different person. This is Mr. Jim Latson. Jim, where are you from? Canton, Ohio. Canton, Ohio. Football Hall of Fame. Football Hall of Fame. Jim invited me to come to the Hook Football Hall of Fame. I'm going to try to make that trip. And Jim, I have to say this, Jim, I hope you don't mind, but Jim came by himself, by himself down here to do the work of God at 77 years of age. What faith? 74. 74 years of age, alone, come out here to serve God. That's an amazing feat. I hope it's. I hope it, I can do half that at that age. That's great. Absolutely great. It's been a pleasure to meet you, Jim. That really ministered to me. Thank you. Very encouraging. Thank you so much. Now the rain is coming down. Get right up close. Bob Sample, here's our tour guide. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to all you crazy Americans. <laughs> Say it. Hello to all you crazy Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what we're, where we are. Well, you are in Kaichur. This is the Pokorema Mountain Range. Kaichur is the highest single drop in the world. It's five times Niagara, three times Victoria. 741 feet from the top to the level of the water. The total is 822. Now Kaicho was Kaicho got his name in 1800 by the Amerindian chief who sacrificed himself by getting up the falls. Dr. Dan, any comments on the falls? Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful creation. Amen. Any comments on the falls? They're incredibly spectacular. Hey, look at that. Do you have any words to describe what we're watching, what we're seeing right now? God is awesome. That's Amen. all I got. That's all you can say. Words can't describe this. I'm, and I'm sorry for the people just watching this on video because. If, if you ever get the chance, you have to see this. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen right here. Holy 
tell me of a home far beyond the skies Oh, they tell me of a home far away Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day There's the singing bus Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> okay, Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Oh, they tell me of a home where my friends have gone. Oh, they tell me of that land far away. Where the tree of life in eternal bloom Sheds its fragrance through the unclouded day Oh, the land of cloudless day Oh, the land of an unclouded sky Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise Oh, they tell me of an unclouded sky Remind you that there will be people today that we will reach with the gospel Today? Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open.